then they will go to the uh, trolleys which are kept there these trolleys are available only in uh, large uh, hospitals or victorian wards nowadays it is the peak pre packed trays that are used so still these are uh, present in the wards and they may ask uh, regarding this so it has got uh, uh, a to top tray and the lower tray then they will ask you what is kept in the uh, top shelf it is usually the sterile things that are kept in the uh, uh, top shelf and the other things are kept in the bottom uh, shelf like antiseptic solutions kidney trays therapy instruments or receiver for towels and swabs all these are kept in the lower one then you there may be a bin there and they will ask you uh, how will you uh, you what's the use of this this is for autoclaving so how will you uh, do the autoclaving you always say that it is the steam that goes and does the autoclave the next question will be how does the steam enter this into this bin because unless you have seen it in the ward you will not be able to answer so you should understand that there is a lock here and you can unlock this and once you unlock this the, you can see the holes in this area and these holes will allow the steam to go in and do the autoclave once the autoclaving is over then you will have to close this and usually the uh, uh, indicators are there which also will help you to find out whether it is autoclaved or not and what is this uh, instrument which is which was previously present in all the wards and it is even now present in many of the wards this is what is called as a cheat in force so how often will you autoclave the chitils forceps it should be autoclaved daily and store it in an alcoholic solution or sablon but in some centers they will keep it in a, a sterile uh, or, or bottle and the bottle you should understand should not be a it should be a wide mouth bottle otherwise when you take it out it will touch the side of the bottle so it, it is much better to keep it in a wide mouth bottle and sablon how often will you change the sablon it should be a uh, minimum daily because sablon will act as a pseudomonas culture in many hospitals have been uh, we send this sablon for uh, culture and sensitivity we usually isolate pseudomonas solutions so that is why this steatives forceps is now considered as surgeon's uh, uh, worst enemy because it is not used in uh, many of the hospitals nowadays